and fourth, money. During the primary, billionaire Ken Griffin, the richest man in Illinois, with a net worth of $28 billion, donated $50 million to the Richard Irvin for Governor campaign. Records show that 95% of that funding went directly to Irvin. The other 5% went to the other statewide candidates on the Griffin-Irvin slate, leaving no money for anyone else running in the primary. In the last 10 years, Griffin has given a total of $179 million. $53 million to defeat the graduated income tax amendment in 2020, $36 million to Bruce Rauner in 2014 and 2018, and $10 million to help turn the Illinois Supreme Court more conservative. $179 million later, and Democrats control every statewide office and a supermajority in the Illinois House and the Senate, and the Illinois Supreme Court is not conservative. $50 million to Irvin to come in third place in the primary, who just didn't lose. He lost badly, and it was a total embarrassment. Now let's talk about the Bailey campaign. $42 million in total to a pro-Bailey pack, and $10 million directly to Bailey himself. $100 million this election cycle to support, to support two men, Irvin and Bailey, while the rest of the Republican field struggled to raise any money at all. Talk to any Republican who ran for office this general election, and they'll tell you the same thing. We had no money to get our messages out or defend ourselves from vicious lies and smears leveled by the Democrats. $50 million for the governor's race to be called at 7.06 p.m., one of the fastest races called in modern Illinois election history. The Alan Keith Barack Obama U.S. Senate race, if you remember that, that may have been called at 7.05 p.m. And the blagojevich Topinka race in 2006, that may have been called at 7.03 p.m., but it was quick. And right now, Britt Bailey trails Pritzker by 11 points, with 98% of the vote counted. So now what? It's time for the Illinois political consulting class to go. Just like a controlled burn removes old vegetation and makes room for new growth, we need this in Illinois if we are ever to be in a position to win again. It's time to hold these so-called political experts accountable. They are not experts at winning races. They are experts at losing races. Records speak for themselves, and we're in the super minority in Illinois because of it. Think about this for a second in terms of your doctor or a surgeon. If you or a loved one needed surgery, would you call a, doctor's, a doctor whose patients all died? No, of course not. To be out there promoting a single poll that said Bailey was within striking distance and only two points behind is political malpractice. To spend $100 million on two candidates who lost very badly is political malpractice. To fool people and to think that we could win the governor's race only to lose by 11 points and for the race to be called within minutes of the polls closing is political malpractice. To spend $100 million and ignore Republican candidates up and down the ballot who needed the funding to survive is political malpractice. To spend $100 million and not put a voter integrity program in place is political malpractice. To spend $100 million only to hand Democrats the supermajority in Springfield once again is political malpractice. If this were corporate America or the real world as, in, as the way most of us operate, where you're judged by your results, the entire Illinois GOP leadership would have been fired on Tuesday night. If this were the real world or corporate America, security guards would have escorted them out of the building as they carried a box full of their own personal belongings. But not in Illinois politics. You are rewarded for a historically bad night by keeping your jobs and your fancy titles. Think about that. No one is held accountable. And instead, do you know what the strategy is? Not just here in Illinois, but across the country? Instead, the strategy is don't look within, but blame 
the 45th president of the United States of America, Donald Trump. Why not? Because that's the Democratic strategy. That's what Democrats do. Blame Trump. So Republicans, why don't we just join that the Democratic bandwagon and let's all unify and let's blame Donald Trump. It's time for an entirely new Illinois GOP from top to bottom, including the political consulting class. Will you join me? Because for nearly a year and a half, close to two years, we talked about how important this election was. We talked about the, the rise in crime, the skyrocketing crime rates that were no longer just in the south and west sides of Chicago. They were in downtown Chicago. They were in the western suburbs. We talked about the skyrocketing carjackings that were no longer in downtown. They were in the suburbs. They were in your neighborhood. They were in your community. We talked about how dangerous our state's going to be after January 1st when the safety act comes into play. We talk about CRT and this disgusting sex ed curriculum that's made its way into our schools and they're teaching our children things that we can't even mention on this air. But what happens to the political elites, the elites, the experts, the consulting, political consulting class? What happens to Republican Party leadership? Nothing. Until, ladies and gentlemen, we hold them accountable. Let me repeat this. It is time for an entirely new Illinois GOP from top to bottom. Will you join me?